One of the most important things that you can do as a dividend investor is to track your dividend payments effectively. This allows you to see how your dividend portfolio is performing as well as being able to stay prepared for tax time and most importantly also decide whether or not you want to add or subtract into a particular stock or ETF. In this video, I'm going to share with you how it is that you can track your dividends and different ways in which you can go about doing this process. Okay, so when it comes to tracking your dividend payments, there's different options out there and I'm going to show you the different options. To start off, of course, one of the things that you can do is to manually copy paste the dividend data that you want into your spreadsheet where you can go ahead and do any calculations you like. However, that is not the most efficient option and I don't recommend this for anybody, especially if you're a serious dividend investor because this is just time consuming and it prevents you from finding good investment opportunities in the first place. So the first option that I'll present to you is this app right here. It's called Track Your Dividends and we have no affiliation with them. So therefore, you know that this advice is not biased in any way. And what I like about this particular app or web platform is the fact that you can go ahead, connect with your brokerage account and that way you can more easily track the dividend payments that you receive from different securities such as stocks, ETFs, etc. So this makes it easy because that way you can easily keep track of that automatically and you don't have to be worried about getting the data. And then from there, the cool thing is that there's also some like different analytics and dashboards that are presented to you so that you can keep a close eye on your dividend portfolio, which is also helpful. So that way you know what is going on and you can make adjustments. The one downside that this does have is the fact that it does have a cost. So there's a free option option but that free option only allows you to connect to one account and has like these limitations that you can see right here the premium version is much better and it is the one that i recommend however it's completely up to you how you want to do it and the other downside is the fact that like any web platform you don't have that aspect of customization what i mean by that is that you have to work with what the platform provides to you you cannot set up custom dashboards you cannot set up custom tax calculations you cannot set up custom visualizations you have to work with what the platform will provide for you so if you want an option that is more flexible allows you to analyze stocks and etfs with more data than just dividends and provides you with that customization of being able to create the dashboards the charts get the data that you want for you then the next option is going to be the perfect one for you the other option that you can use is obviously to use a spreadsheet like I mentioned before however the spreadsheet has something special and that is the fact that it can automatically retrieve almost all the data that you want in terms of dividend stocks and also ETFs and also some fundamentals as well so you could use this solution if you're trying to do any type of fundamental or dividend analysis now before I jump into this option I just want to say there's other dividend platforms out there that you can check out I just share the one that I think is the best for the dividend tracker use case. So now that I said that and that is out of the way, let's get into how the spreadsheet works. So as you can see, uh, the way that the spreadsheet works, and again, the cool thing about this is that you can customize it to be whatever it is that you want to include any charts, have the data be displayed in any way you like. So it's super flexible and that is one of the best things about this method. So in this case, what we have is the account. So in this case, let's say you have different investment accounts accounts that you use and then here we have the different tickers that you've invested in here are the number of shares that you own the cost per share this is all this information you would have to enter on your own the cool thing is that this information is very easy to get from your broker so that way you could just input it and now here's where it starts to get more interesting for example the last price this is the current life price of this particular stocks that you can see right here and the way that is retrieved is using Y sheets for Formula. So Y Sheets is an add-on for Excel and Google Sheets. So this method works for Google Sheets and Excel, whatever you prefer. And basically what it's doing, as you can see right here on the formula, it's getting the symbols and then the parameters that it's getting is a price. So if I minimize this, you can see that it's getting all the symbols right here and then it's getting the price for all of them. So you just do that. And then as you can see, you will get all of these results. Here we have the total 
cost. This is just a simple formula where you multiply the number of shares times the average cost per share. And then from here, you can start to do some interesting stuff like the total value and you can ultimately get the gain and loss of your investments. The other thing is obviously the dividend yield part, which is super important. For the dividend yield part, you can see how this works right here. So if I click on the function, you will see that for Apple, it's getting the dividend yield as a parameter. And then this is on a TTM basis. TTM basically means the real time dividend yield of the company based on the last dividend payments that were made by the company and the current stock price. So as you can see, you get the data for all those different stocks stocks this also applies to ETFs as well so for example let's say I change this to VU you will see how the information will update and this includes the price obviously the dividend information as well then we also have the last four dividends which again is using the WISE function to be able to get this so in this case is asking for the dividend for the past LQ in this case represents each dividend payment so this is the latest dividend payment this is the one before this is the one before that and so on and so forth so it's just taking the sum of this and that represents this and then we have the annual income so assuming that you got those dividend payments in a year and you hold this many shares this indicates that you would get this annual income from your dividend securities then like i mentioned before you can also get additional information so in this case we decided to include the pe ratio and the eps of this particular companies as you can see this is an etf so obviously this doesn't apply that's why that happens and same with the pe however you can include any different metrics that you like and if you want to see what data is available this is a cool thing so if you go into Y sheets you can go into any of the functions that are available so for example the wise function and then you can click on available data and what's going to happen is that here you will be able to see all the data that is available for each function that we have so for example income statement you can see these are the parameters key metrics you can see these are the parameters and then on this page you can see exactly how the function works as as well as some examples of how you can use the function one really important thing is to be able to keep track of the live data and to refresh it whenever that you want the best way to do that is to click this button right here which what it will do is refresh all the live data so that means for example the price that constantly changes so here you will see this whole column refresh with the latest price data same with the dividend yield and also if there's any change changes in the recent dividend payments you will be able to see those changes here and track them so that will always help you to make sure that you have the latest data on your spreadsheet something that you can do which is quite helpful and i've already mentioned is to include a graph of the information so for example i'm just gonna pick some random data and then we'll see what kind of graph is generated but here let's say we pick this so we're gonna go on insert we're gonna go to chart and and then what's going to happen is that automatically you will be able to see a chart that's generated now this may not be the perfect chart that you're wanting to create in order to analyze your dividend portfolio but you can see this is an example and once again you can go on the Y sheets add-on refresh the data and that way you will be sure to have the latest data also on any charts that you create the last thing that I want to share with you with this dividend tracker is that you can also create a a dividend screener what I mean by that is that let's say that you want to screen companies based on the dividend yield and the last four dividends as well as the EPS and P ratio so we're just gonna copy this data right here so as you can see we've copied the data right here and there's a whole bunch of errors don't worry about that now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna keep track of the ticker so I believe that's from here to here perfect so now we're gonna be able to copy this information good so this is just copied as it is what you can do from here and what I recommend is that you structure the data like this so here you see how I'm doing the dividend yield now I'm gonna do the PS the, the PE ratio and all the other information 
information like this. I'm gonna format it so that way it's not all in terms of a percentage. So here it's perfect. Now what you can do is just expand this column so that way you could visualize the data better. And now what we can do is we'll get rid of the annual income column because this doesn't really make sense. Hit this, we'll turn into a percentage. And perfect, now what we can do is to start to screen for different companies that meet our criteria. So the way you do that is you select the data, you create a filter, and now I'm just going to expand this. And the cool thing about this is that you can say, okay, show me the ones that have the lowest dividend yield, show me the ones that have the highest dividend yield, show me the ones that have paid the most dividends in the past for dividend payments, show me the ones that have the lowest PE ratio, etc. So this is a really powerful way to be able to track and find dividend investment opportunities right from your spreadsheet. And then the last thing, which is very common sense, is that you can continue to add more information to the spreadsheet. So let's say here we have another company. What you can go ahead and do is you can just simply change the spreadsheet formula like this. So now this also covers the extra company. And here we go. So there you go. This is the way to keep track of your dividend payments on Excel as well as on a web platform. Now you know how to track your dividend dividend payments effectively so be sure to use this information well so that way you can keep track of your dividend investments your gains and your losses and stay on track to achieve your financial goals if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's gonna allow you to take your investing game to the next level i'll see you in the next one